You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Have you met me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon? Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Soul Creek. Now this is the continuation of that bonus episode. I wanted to see if the night progresses any differently, maybe not. I I'm hoping it does. I like that little extra bit of bonus content there. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes or however long it takes to get through this bonus episode. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up. Now let's go. Okay. Hmm. Come. Now you'll both be doing that. His paws find my shoulder and he guides me from the floor and the to the back of the indulgence. We don't speak. I just lean against him fondly. I just fondle him. <laughs> by the time we return, the village square is illuminated only by the auburn glow of the bonfire. Shrouded by opaque darkness, the indulgence has reached its peak. Groups have formed where men and women have given totally into the debauchery, with very little art or civility in the act. It's ferociously primal. I hear the depraved, feral baying of bipeds in the throes of the moment, and see entwined, furred bodies tangled in a torrent of passion, barely visible in the dim light. No words are spoken, only howls, growls, and snarls. Those getting senselessly pounded are mostly on their hands and knees, feverishly slammed by frenzied breeding partners. It's all liquefied by the burning, tropical aura of the bonfire. As Loken casually leads me closer to the flames, it's hard not to feel swept up in all this condensed, searing passion. I feel the pump of flare, urging me to grab Loken and add my own voice to this cacophony of orgasmic cries. Around all this, I feel less and less like a human and more like a lust-driven beast. The hound sits cross-legged in front of the fire. He closes his eyes. I can't tell if he's ignoring it all or absorbing it. I sheepishly sit beside him. This is really something. My knee bumps against his. The husky's white fur is tinged with orange. I see the hint of a smile on his muzzle. I open my mouth to speak, but I'm briefly distracted by the sound of someone climaxing behind me. Loudly. You guys really don't hold back. His eyes flicker at me. Sit closer, little human. Gah! I'm hauled up by my underarms and plonked neatly into his lap. He shamelessly grins at me, tightening his grasp around me. Then I feel his then I feel him grope my ass firmly. Spurred by his lustful affection, my leggings start to feel constraining. Fuck, you're feeling pretty frisky, huh? The snarl he rumbles back kicks the flare in my body back into overdrive, and my inhibitions drop like a stone. I want him. I am. I will enjoy you. He pulls me down for another kiss, his lips clasp against mine, my head tilting to match the gentle current of his jaws. It's short but neat, a small token of his wants. His paw slides around to my belly, sliding under my tunic and groping at my chest. Alex. Yeah? I would fuck you. The way he says it, a part of my loosened mind almost makes me turn around for him right there. Oh yeah? I would fuck you now. His rumbling snarl, his hungry glare and predatory grasp of me. It's hard to think straight. I'm losing myself. You want me to fuck you, little human? Say this to me. I don't know if it's the flare or his advances. I never imagined myself being so forward. Uh, yeah, I I'd let you fuck me, big guy, but... I snicker, brushing my fingers firmly through his head fur. I want him, but there's a pretty glaring problem. Uh, you're kinda big. Hmm, yes, this would hurt you. Tonight, I will jo enjoy you in other ways. I raise my eyebrows, intrigued. Other ways? Many ways. You're mine tonight, little human. Let me feel you. He gropes my body greedily, and my top rides up with his fumbling paws. My heart is thumping. <sighs> Fuck! I'm perched atop a horny hound, surrounded by all these people, and I don't care. I feel free. I think this is the most alive I've ever felt. Loken tugs the bottom of my tunic. Off! Without thinking, I tear off my top, tear the top off my head and sit, shirtless in Loken's lap. Beneath me, the hound starts. The hound snarl deepens. His paw pads press against my stomach and side, sliding up to my chest. Good little human. Oh, shut up! I'm letting him play his dominant act for now. I shut my eyes for a moment, enjoying the burning heat of the fire and the electric touch of his paw pads. I weave my arms around his and grope at his cottony chest. My fingers brush his nipples, enjoying their soft shape. Loken leans back onto the ground, putting an arm behind his head as, pi as a pillow and smiling up at me. As he relaxes, I feel him buck his hips against my butt, prodding me with his arousal. Yeah. You want this. It is why you looked at the hot springs. <sighs> Got me. Caught you peeking at my ass, too. I imagine taking you at that moment. I am imagining it now. I feel the sharp sting of claws digging into my hips. You are enjoying the flare. It is pleasant. It's just... <laughs> The flare, I guess, it's really... Fuck, it's really making me horny. Horny? I grin. I'm definitely going to regret teaching him all these words. Aroused. 
a second, guys. Gotta take a, take a drink of water. Save it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. The scandalous smirk Loken gives me makes me shiver. Loken sits up and smears his forehead into my bare chest longingly. I shiver, the bristles of his fur making my muscles twitch and, reflect, and reflex. I lean my head down, rubbing my cheek on his head for inhaling his humid, salted scent. Loken ravenously laps his tongue across my bare chest. My sensitive skin flinches at the rough, wet touch. I laugh. Ooh, excuse me. I must taste good, huh? He snarls something incoherent in response. I pet the back of his head affectionately, and he leans he leans back into my hand in a very dog-like fashion. Hmm. On your hands and knees. Huh? That is how I would take you, little human. Huh. Of course he'd like that position, typical dog. Alex? Yeah? We will return home. Now. I blink, surprised. I, I was enjoying myself. Oh, really? I wish to be alone with you. Oh, heh. It sounds good. I'm disappointed when he wordlessly lifts me off of him, but I know the night isn't over yet. I suspect I'll have the chance to get much closer when we're back at the lodge. <sighs> Nobody pays us any mind as we leave the indulgence. The heat of the bonfire behind us fades away. Side by side, we wordlessly exit the crowded village streets and head towards the forest. He has his arm around my shoulders. I lean my head against his side, enjoying his warmth against the chill of the alpine breeze. However, just before we reach the lodge, his mood drastically and suddenly changes. Alex. Yeah? You. Hmm. Are you okay? I am. Tell me. But he doesn't tell me anything. He just looks sad. I frown. Logan, talk to me. I do not know. I frown, concerned. It seems to have come from nowhere. I didn't say anything. We were just walking home, silently. We stop walking. He's staring straight ahead. I'm sure how to, re I'm sure how to reach him. I just pet his arm comfortingly. Hey, take your time. He doesn't reply for a long time. You are... There's another long pause. Meaning it? Meaning what? Meaning it. Tonight, you are... Meaning it. Poor guy can barely string a sentence together when he's anxious, but I think I understand. Loken. He finally looks down at me. You're a good hound, and I like you. I mean it. You are certain. He really does need constant reassurance. I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me, big guy. Hmm. Under the long stretch of silence, I eventually feel his tail swaying. You are also stuck with me. I slide my hands up, his, up to his paw. He takes it, and my small hand is encapsulated by his. So, what happens next? Hmm. After tonight, will we still... He frowns for a moment, then looks away. The indulgence will end. Oh. But I had fun. Hmm. I also enjoyed tonight. So let's not stop. Loken catches my uncertain look and grunts. It would not be proper. There's a pause. You know how many, many people did things on their own terms? We could try that. This would not upset you. As long as it doesn't upset you. Hmm. I also want more. Despite his assurances, he still looks away anxiously. What if we had another indulgence? Just for us. We could have one every day. The clan would judge us. Then we won't tell them. It's not like we're in love or anything. We'd just be having fun, right? Alex, I do not think... Hmm. He's really not comfortable with this. I shouldn't push him out of his comfort zone. It's not his way. Well, um, whatever happens, the night isn't over yet, is it? He glances sideways at me, and I hear his chest rumble as he steps closer. It is not over yet. I grin bashfully as his playful grasp slips up to my shirt, his paw pads rub against my shoulders and chest. Inside, we will enjoy the rest of this night. He ushers me towards the lodge and hurriedly leads me inside. Once we're inside, Lucan heads over to the bed. I stand by the door, searching for the light switch. I do not use the lights. Heh, <sighs> <sighs> okay. Alex, tonight you will sleep here. He indicates his own bed. With you? With me. His tail flicks, hopefully. Yeah, that sounds nice. The indulgence is not over. You wish to continue? Carry on. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, baby boy. <laughs> I'm not done with you yet, big guy. Fixing me with his ravenous grin, Loken unclips the strap around his chest and lets it flick off. I watch, heart-thumping, as he discards most of his clothes. He gestures firmly at me to come closer. Here, little human. Yep, halo thumbnail. His tail flicks, and he bares his sharper fangs. 
He's been acting so dominant tonight. Hmm, I bet I could get him to respond to some dominance of my own if I wanted. Do I prefer his big alpha act? Or should I start teaching this hound some manners? They can come to you. Oh. I narrow my eyes, feeling confident enough after tonight to challenge him. No. Here. I shoot my own hungry grin back at the hound, gesturing him over with narrowed eyes. He's really taken aback by my assertiveness, and if I want to play small alpha human with him, I have to build up to it slowly. I grin encouragingly, appealing to the hungry predator I know that he is. Come and get me. That does the trick. Straight away, he marches right up to me. I must have done something right, because he grips, he grasps me firmly by the waist and pulls me into him. Hmm, little human. Looking lowers his muzzle to me and snarls in my ear. It's a fierce sound like cracking, crackling stone. Good boy. Hmm? Nothing? <laughs> I've better not push it too far yet. He digs his nose into the side of my neck, inhaling. Can't imagine what I smell like, but going by the agitated swaying of his tail, it must be pleasant to him. I slide my right hand over his stomach, ruffling the thicker fluff that collects below his belly button. Loken feverishly grabs my hand and pushes it down to where he wants, beneath his loincloth, into the hard flesh awaiting. It's so hot to the touch, I slip my fingers blindly around his burning girth to examine the shape of him. My fumbling fingers brush the swollen knot at the base, and Loka's whole body jolts. I immediately let go. Ah, sorry, was that... The hound snickers, planting his tongue on my face and smearing it across my cheek. More! Behind me, Logan paw, Logan's paws slip my down my leggings and grasp my bare ass passionately, kneading and clutching it with desperate yearning. Then he pulls the, then he pulls, pulls the end of the loincloth loose and lets it fall. Ah! Penis! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, boy. I stare, totally lured by the shape. It's different, but irresistible and large. I cup his hefty balls and admire their fuzzy weight. Logan's member twitches eagerly as I explore him. I wrap my fingers around his sh- around that, yeah, tightening my grasp. He bucks his hips and snarls, urging me to continue. Undress, little human. <sniffs> Logan spins me around, curling his arms around my waist and tussling with my top. He yanks it up over my head, his paws sliding down my topless body. I shudder, my skin pleasantly receptive to the pressure of his paw pads. He smears his tongue across my shoulder. I feel him, I feel him against my bare back, smearing my skin with his excitement. You are good to hold. Logan's paw swiftly find my waistline, and he eagerly plunges his paw down the hem of my pants. I gasp. My body jumps in pleasure when his huge, grasping paws take hold of me. The hound snarls in my ear and adds pressure with his thumb. Mmm, this is different. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, fuck. There is no sheath. Mm-hmm. I kick my leggings off the rest of the way, now fully enclosed by his warm, naked hold. More. And suddenly, Loken tugs me over to the bed. Gah! Hey, easy, big guy! He's snarling and baring his teeth. I kneel on the edge of his bed, my back to him, and he leers and leers behind me. Did all this slow teasing just become too much? I groan as his wet tongue spreads across the back of my neck. He's hasting me. When I don't protest, Loken pushes me onto the bed with increased resolve and strength. His paws grasp and claw at my ass with fervent need, hoisting me up. <laughs> Logan smothers his tongue against my back. Wait, does he actually want to fuck? There's no way I'll be able to take that thing. Hey, j just be careful. I don't think I can take your whole thing tonight. However, when his hungry tongue travels even lower, I realize he's got something else in mind entirely. Yeah, boy. Snarling, Logan greedily presses his tongue against the, uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Hmm. One paw grips the side, and the other put me down by the small of my back. Fuck, Logan! Ah! I wince in pleasure at the wet pressure of his, t the wet, oh uh, yeah, the greedy flexing of that thing, and the, even the vibrations of his hungry snarls, groaning at the strange sensation. I, yeah, yeah, oh wow, he's so fucking good at this. It feels wrong doing something this intimate with him, but that just makes me love it even more. Look at this completely ravenous, so much that there's a momentary sting, as yeah, I gasp my whole body's jolting, his clawed fingers gripping to either side of me. I'm disappointed when he gives me a final long spear and that before kneeling up onto the bed. Why'd you stop? That was so good! Logan turns me over and locks his body with mine, smothered by his overpowering size, his thick, salted, scent, and bestial growls. He slides himself against my belly, eagerly rubbing, Yeah, yeah, we can't th I grin up at him and grasp him tightly, Logan snarls. It's pretty hot. How's primordial nature came out in full force when he's caught up in the moment. We stay together like this, sliding against one another, the pressure building up. It feels so fucking good. I've been, 
I've been pent up. I've been so pent up over the last few days thinking about this. I'm already getting close. It's ready to. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Um. Skate, skate, motherfucker. <laughs> With a final snarl, Logan thrusts into my grasp, bearing his weight down on me as he, yeah. It makes a total mess. Yep. 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 I'm a fucking mess. I think aroma of our yep fills my senses, and I feel as yep uh, smeared against my skin. The hot, panting hound lowers himself down over me, exhausted. His ragged breath tickles my nose. His scent is overpowering right now. Our collective musk no doubt filling the room. Alex. Yeah? He kisses me. I return to it eagerly. Eyes lolling shut. My head feels fuzzy. His tongue invades my mouth and I grasp, exci I grasp, grasp excitedly at his chest fur. His previous kisses were soft. This one is aggressive. I wildly kiss back. Our mismatching jaws dancing in whatever way they can. I just want him. Every bit of him. Between us, I can feel him start to soften as the afterglow wears off. I'm exhausted and slimy. I probably stink. <laughs> Do you have a towel or something? Hmm. He wordlessly grabs the rag from beside the bed, handing it to me as he pants. I start wiping the impressive volume of uh, spilled uh, lotion from my chest. Man, that, that was awesome, Loken. Loken rolls over onto the bed and lays at my side. I barely finish wiping myself clean before he suddenly hauls me up to his chest and crushes me into his embrace with both arms. Gah! Stay. He squashes us together with his mighty bear hug. I snicker. Hey, I stink. We're all messy. We'll use the springs tomorrow. Stay. Now that he has me, I don't want to move. I settle into his warm, downy pelt. We fit together perfectly as two puzzle pieces. <sighs> oh. Hug, Logan. You're so comfortable. He squirms. I'm squeezed into his embrace. In the soft flow of his breath, feel the gentle current of his chest as he breathes. My fingers brush through his fur, and he growls in warm content. You will sleep here every night. Will I? And we know how this goes. I'm going to pause it right here, ladies and gents. So this is uh, just a bit of that bonus content. I think that's it for that. If there's anything different about that, just let me know. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!